This next tip is cheesecloth. So this is just the ordinary stuff you get at the grocery store. Just like this, you cut a piece or two where you want it. And I'm just going to gel it on. So what I do is I just gel it on like this. I don't put a lot of gel because I want the texture of the cheesecloth to show. So I put a little bit of gel like this. And just enough to glue it on because what I want is the paint to seep through those textures. And what will happen is it'll create a really interesting texture for your painting. So we'll let this dry and I'll see you in the next part. So this is the cheesecloth, and I just want to show you what happens when you paint on top of cheesecloth. The look is outstanding. You get these wonderful little textures. You need the right spot, but it's absolutely awesome. You can create wonderful looks. If you want to paint in between, that works too. So if I wanted to create that look in between, I could just keep painting. And I can add more colors than this if I wanted to. I don't have to stick to one color. So have fun trying this out. It's just too much fun. Hi everyone. Here's a different way to use cheesecloth. And we're just going to spread our cheesecloth out. Remember, this is just the cheesecloth from the grocery store, like this. And you cut a piece. And now what we're going to do is wet it down. It's interesting because if you don't wet it down, sometimes this technique doesn't work. So wet it down. It doesn't have to be sopping wet. It's just a little bit damp. Then you dilute your paint and you paint the cheesecloth like this. If you go over the edge, you can just get it soft. What you want is diluted paint. So I'm just going to touch it like this, let it dilute. Then I'll pick another color. Let's pick, let's put pink. And I just let it seep into the fabric like this and I'll get a little more pink so it's nice to see the pink and the blue blending now the trick with this one is to let it dry and then lift it if you leave it too long what happens is it becomes part of your painting it stays there but if you lift it just when it's just about dry, you get this wonderful texture. And we'll let this dry. And we'll see you in the next part. Here the cheesecloth is almost dry. And here goes. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's the texture of the cheesecloth and the paint. And it creates a wonderful look. So try it out. This is tip of the day and we'll see you in the next video.